Flood waters don't respect boundaries, and so it's critical to investigate ways we can better prepare for the future and keep our communities safe by coordinating efforts, sharing knowledge and capability, and setting a proactive agenda for improving resilience over time across the catchments. This project is giving us greater visibility over the catchment of the Burdekin River and giving us a greater understanding of the impact of it should a flood event occur, particularly in the human, social and economic impacts to the community. The purpose of the project is to develop a flood resilient strategy for the Burdekin catchment, including the adjacent smaller Horton River catchment that impacted on the town of Garoo. The strategy will be our guide to how we work together proactively to reduce flood risk and increase resilience throughout the catchments. By understanding the potential disaster risks our regions face, understanding risk management, working together to better manage disaster risks, and continually improving how we prepare for, respond to and recover from disasters, will ensure we are more resilient in Queensland. The benefit of working together from a regional level creates that situational awareness. Every individual council has their own infrastructure. We don't often have oversight over the infrastructure of the, of the neighbouring councils. So to be able to have that flow on effect and that full um, you know, situational awareness of the catchment um, is really important for decision making um, in times of disaster. I think this is about being on the front foot with resilience and how it benefits Queensland is it saves us a hell of a lot of money. Like if we do have another event and we're actually better prepared for it or we've got things in place to actually look after our community better, look after our assets better, it's going to be cheaper for local councils and governments in the long term. So I think this one's a no-brainer. It's really about being proactive as possible to describe local needs and build a forward program of effort that can be matched to funding opportunities over time as they emerge. The benefit of this is that local communities' needs will be well known at all levels of government and we can progressively deliver on these needs over time. The workshop encourages conversation between local governments around their common challenges and the shared solutions to those challenges. These workshops are multidisciplinary and we have participants who are specialised in disaster management, infrastructure and engineering, economic and community development, land use planning and environmental management. The conversations really highlight the interlinkages of different resilience issues. The highlight for me has been the big maps exercises. Being able to stand there and look at the size of the Burdick catchment in that scale is quite staggering, frankly. The big map process really tries to facilitate a spatially based discussion about flood behaviour and the interaction of flood with the landscape and the communities living in it. None of us operate in isolation. Obviously a flood event at the back of Ingham affects Charter Towers, affects Burdick and right down here to Bowen. So we all have to work as one with these flood situations and other disasters in order to get better outcomes. Hopefully, by building a more resilient Queensland, governments will overcome some of the challenges currently being faced, which include the costs of disasters, rebuilding of infrastructure, increased safety, rising seawaters, larger cyclones, longer flooding events and prolonged drought. I think the biggest highlight of this whole process is bringing all the councils together under the guise of QRA so we can learn from each other, feed off each other and then develop the strategy together and that's how we'll get the best results.